The Cardnox Merchant Portal provides easy access to high-level business metrics, as well as detailed information, plus all the tools you need to manage payments with ease. After logging in, the dashboard view gives you a quick overview of your business. For this lesson, we'll navigate to the Transactions tab to begin. The Transactions module lets you view, search, process, refund, and print transactions, all in one place. Let's start by learning how to filter and search for transactions. The Transactions tab automatically displays today's transactions, but you can easily adjust the results to view transactions for different timeframes. You also have the flexibility to set your own custom date range. With our upgraded filter options, you'll be able to enter a wide variety of data points to easily narrow down your search. Quickly find a specific transaction using the last four digits of the card number, cardholder name, reference number, or invoice number. You can also click on the Advanced tab for an expanded list of searchable data points. We'll enter the last four digits of the card to narrow our search. After clicking Apply, the system returns all transactions that were processed using the same card. Each transaction has a unique reference number, as well as purchase details like the amount, tax, fees, customer information, card type, payment method, and much more. By setting parameters for any of the columns, you can drill down to view the exact data you need. For example, say you wanted to find all the Visa transactions less than $20. Simply enter less than 20 in the amounts field, then scroll to card type and check Visa. The system will instantly return all the transactions that meet your criteria. You can also export or print the resulting transactions at any point or change the columns included in your view to suit your needs. To remove any filters, uncheck your selections or delete the data in the input field, and the results will update accordingly. Quickly process transactions by clicking on New Transaction from the left navigation, or use the New Transaction button found on the transaction screen. Input the amount, payment method, and card information. The convenience fee and sales tax amounts are automatically calculated according to the percentages you provide in the Settings tab. Next, enter the customer email address and choose if you'd like to send a receipt to your client or receive a copy. Then, complete the additional billing and shipping information. You also have the option to assign an invoice or purchase order number, as well as enter any custom data unique to this transaction. If this is a new customer, Check Save as Customer to save the contact details for future transactions. Finally, click on Process or select the clock icon to schedule this transaction for a specific time. Edit the name of this transaction or use the default, then choose the date for processing. Click on the Schedule Payment button to complete. There are many ways to process a transaction for an existing customer. One way is to navigate to a previous transaction completed by this customer and use the Hover menu. Alternatively, you can click on this transaction and use the menu at the bottom to add a new transaction for this customer. Lastly, you can navigate to the Customers module and hover over the customer to add a new transaction. Or click on the Customer record and use the Add Transaction button. In some cases, you may have quickly processed a transaction and didn't have time to enter a customer's full contact information, or perhaps you didn't have the information on hand. Since the only required fields to process a transaction are the payment details and an email address, you may need to go back and link a previous transaction to a customer. You can link transactions to customers by navigating to the transaction and using the Hover menu. Choose the option for Add New Customer. Next, choose New Customer to enter this customer's contact details, or choose Existing Customer to select a customer from your database. Click on any transaction to view more details. From this view, you can print, email, download, and view the individual transaction receipt. Additionally, you can easily adjust or add custom data to a transaction, as well as void or refund the transaction. By clicking on the Refund button, you can choose whether to issue a partial or full refund, 
enter a description of the refund, and send a receipt to your customer. The void button cancels the transaction as if it never happened. The Settings module provides administrators with a wide variety of additional options to customize the user's experience. Let's take a look at some of the most used features. The Fields Configuration menu allows you to edit the names of the existing labels, choose if they are required, and if they are visible to other portal users within your business. Display allows you to set additional preferences as well as the default transaction type. If you fulfill orders in multiple shipments, our Split Capture tool will allow you to capture multiple portions of a single authorization as each shipment goes out. Enable convenience fees and set fee percentages using the Convenience Fee menu. You can also set your preferences for user permissions, when and how the convenience fee is calculated, and if it should be applied to recurring schedules. Likewise, the Sales Tax menu can be expanded to adjust the sales tax percentage and whether or not you'd like to give your users control of editing the sales tax amounts or override sales tax altogether. Be sure to click Save to apply any changes. Check out our YouTube channel for more videos on how to use the Cardnox Merchant Portal or visit the Cardnox Knowledge Base. Need one-on-one -on -one support? Our friendly team of support experts is only a phone call away. Let us know how we can help.